Oh, this this makes no sense. We, uh, how did you do that? My my reputation is destroyed. <laughs> it's like a bean to the heart. It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. What the? So polite. <laughs> so been busy losing while we were away, Bulljucker. I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he isn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. <sighs> Good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Ah! Finally, it's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. So, I'm going head-to-head -head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp. Nicely done. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting!